Hello, this is Paul with Logix Training. That's right. And today we're going to talk about uh, learning PLC programming at home um, and setting up your own home workbench lab. All right. So we're going to talk about the typical ways most people learn PLC programming. We're going to talk about um, the typical progression of PLC programming, learning PLC programming at home. Um, you're going to see some of the behind the scenes of uh, the training uh, equipment and the hardware that I've done. I'm going to talk about the progression of my progression in learning at home. Um, we're going to talk about some great examples of how other people have built their own labs. And um, um, so we're going to get into a lot of great stuff. But before we do, I want you to, um, if you enjoy this uh, video, you find value, you'd like to learn more, get more behind the scenes of what I'm going to be doing um, with my own benchtop lab. This is just, we just put this together yesterday. We're a long way from getting done with it. But you want to stay tuned and watch what we're going to do and how we're going to do it and learn so that you can build your own lab and your own training bench um, and, and obviously learn PLC programming, then uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, that way you'll stay notified uh, as I produce these videos and, and, uh, and show you what I'm doing, all right? All right, so my progression. Um, I'm like a lot of other people. You know, I, I started with the 500, RS Logics 500, and that's what I started. I downloaded it. I, I practiced it. Um, writing some code, some basic stuff. It didn't take me too long. I got the emulet and got, you know, maybe only, only a few weeks possibly. And I got the emulet and I figured out how to, how to make that work. And really that was my start. And it's, if you're in America, that is most people where they start, all right? They get the software, get the emulet, and they practice some basic um, programming. Now, you can take that software and do a lot with it, right? You can do a lot with it. So, um, and, and the other thing that's important is, and don't underestimate the value of it. There's a lot of legacy equipment out there. There's 500 uh, and and PLCs. There's slicks. There's PLC fives. There's a lot of legacy equipment. So this is a really valuable software, and you can get that that the free version um, and just download it and begin with the with the 500 emulate and start writing real world pro programs. And you can do that today. You can, have, you can be writing real-world programs tonight. Now, if you're into PLC programming, odds are you may have already got that far, right? So you're thinking, okay, is that it? Well, we talked about the emulate, so obviously we're going to move into simulation. And, and there are several ways you can do that. I have done it where I take a, a HMI or a... a um, simulated HMI and I tied it into my Amulet my 500 and advanced HMI uh, will let you do that um, and it'll let you do that and it'll tie it together and simulate and you can simulate a real world process factory IO is a software that's another really great resource to help you practice real world right so you, you see we got a progression as you get a little bit better you want to do more of the twinkling you want some real world simulation you get an hmi tied in or a process like factory io and you want to practice a real world simulated um program that's a typical progression these days then eventually what's going to happen is you're going to roll in and you're going to say man i really want to get a processor in my hand so you're going to go to ebay um, for me, I talked to my boss. We were replacing, I think it was our uh, uh, MicroLogix 1000. Had a couple of burnt, burnout pins. I said, hey, can I have that? He said, yeah, we put the new one in. I kept that one, took it home. It was my first one that I started wiring at home. So, you know, I was able to, to do, you know, the, use the 500. At, uh, I think it was a 5000 or MicroLogix 1000. Um, the 500, I ha also had the Amulet uh, option, um, you know, um, uh, when I first started, we didn't have anything like uh, factory I.O., but you do today, and you can simulate some processes. That's all that's really important stuff to do, and that's a typical progression. Eventually, you're gonna, you, a lot of guys and gals will get a, a processor. They'll put it in their hand. They want a real-world PLC, and they want to wire it up, and they want to they run a program. Very common, right? Now, when you get into the hardware, now you're starting to build a a workbench or a lab, right, to practice your wiring, 
right? And the practice you're programming. And now you're getting, now you're getting uh, into some, some really cool stuff. Now you're starting to advance in your skill set, right? And then you become obsessive like me and crazy and you start building all kinds of crazy stuff. But um, it is important. Um, what I want you to realize is all this is very common and very normal, okay? These are the progressions. You've got to work your way through it. What I, what I encourage you to do is not just dabble in it. You know, get the software, write a full program, emulate it, then begin moving to these other progressive levels. Um, uh, eventually, you're going to, you, you may put together a complete brand new bench here. Now, before you go too far, you know, this is a, this is a great setup. I, went, I just picked this up yesterday. Before yesterday, all this was uh, screwed into a piece of plywood. And I had it up against the wall, and I had an enclosure years, uh, I guess, a couple of years ago, but uh, moved and whatnot. But I just wanted to use a plywood. I wanted to find the right um, setup. And I went and bought this yesterday, and, and it's pretty pretty nice. Not the highest quality, but it's not bad. A couple hundred dollars. It's got the perforated back. I can I can put my DIN rail on there, mount my devices on there. Still needs some work. We're gonna stiffen up the back. It's got a couple of drawers down here. I got this from Lowe's. It's a cobalt bench. It's got a shelf down at the bottom. So for me, this works really, really well. It's got a, got a light here. I can turn my, my processors on and off with a light switch over here. So it's got a nice bench top. And we're a, I'm a long ways from having this um, done. But... Um, it, it, look, if you, if you want to watch me build this over time and you want to really learn PLC programming, um, I'd love to help you. Um, but keep this in mind when building your own um, bench and working with PLC programming hardware and software. Let me share something with you. Keep this in mind. So I got this, uh, this training manual from the PLC professor, which by the way, great, great material, really good. Uh, material. Now, in here, what I liked is that he had a a story, a personal note, and he and he basically has a picture. And I don't think this is unethical to show you this. Um, it says just to eliminate the possibility possibility that you think I'm creating all of this uh, in the lap of a contemporary campus. I took this photo while doing the preprint proofing of volume. This is the basement of our Indiana uh, location. Now what he has is he's got a couple of pro, uh, screens and he has his processor right on the desk. That's it. He's got his keyboard right here. And that's all he did. He didn't do anything fancy like this. He did exactly what you will probably do if you bring a processor home. You're just going to set it on your desk right next to you. You'll wire, practice, and program. Um, and this is PLC Professor. I mean, this, is, this guy knows what the heck he's doing. He's high, high level, right? Solace PLC, another really great... Um, PLC training resource. He's got a whole write-up of how he built his into a, like a case, and 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 that that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. And for me personally, I wanted to do something like this. I wanted it to be you know high level. I wanted to be able to put it out here, and I can I can add and take out parts. Um, you know, we'll get put in uh, we'll put in uh, terminal blocks down here, and and, and you'll see. We'll we'll do videos on on what we're going to do here um, as we as it we progress, but I just wanted to let you know this is sort of mine, and you'll have to decide what you want to do with yours. I, I recommend looking into it. There's a lot of variations that you can follow, but, but you don't, one, you don't need the hardware. Uh, uh, you can do everything simulation. Um, you, if you do get hardware, you can just set it on your desk. You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can, you can screw it into a piece of plywood, and I had that for a little while. Or you can go, you know, build it into a case just like at Solace PLC. Great, uh, great write-up on that. So I recommend you looking at that. Or you can go all out and start building something like this. You can get maybe an old enclosure from your boss. The point is, um, nothing wrong with any of them. Kind of decide what you want to do. Maybe watch some of the videos that I'm going to produce um, about building this, this setup for me. Go over to Solace PLC, look at theirs, uh, get a processor, put it in your hand, put it on the table, and, and, and start programming it, start wiring it up. All that's really important, all right? So I recommend put that hour in a day. Practice, practice, practice your programming. 
um, and and don't quit. All right. So hopefully this has uh, been helpful. You get a behind the scenes look. It's it's casual Friday. Behind the scenes look uh, at Logix Magazine, Logix Training, and um, uh, if you want to watch me do more of this and see how this uh, how this grows. If you got questions, put them down in the. Uh, um, Put the questions down below and I'll answer them. If you want to, to know when I release videos, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will um, notify you every single time I produce a video. And you'll be able to see this thing really grow. Um, and, and it'll be cool. It'll be, I, I'm pretty excited about this. So until next time, this is Paul with Logic Training. Uh, keep programming, my friends.